Welcome to the NordVPN Insider Updates. Here's everything you need to know about the NordVPN app and its products. In this episode, we will explore what's in store for Windows, MeshNet, and NordVPN browser extension updates. So tune in for real-time insights and news from the people behind the wheel. Let's dive into the Windows updates. Our dedicated IP service is loved by users looking for a solution to work remotely, safely access IP-restricted networks, and other similar use cases. While the server category was accessible for all our users, the benefits of it became available only after purchasing the additional subscription required to get a dedicated IP. Otherwise, these servers work the same way as our standard VPN servers, which unfortunately led to confusion amongst the user base. Now, fast forward to the speed of connecting to a VPN server. To make a VPN connection on Windows, a virtual adapter has to be created, which is responsible for all the heavy lifting of the VPN connection on the user's device. Creating and configuring this adapter is a resource-intensive and time-consuming task. It results in a slower initial connection time for the user, and we don't want that. To optimize both metrics, we have fully refactored the corresponding logic in our application. As far as other features are concerned, we must discuss changes made to threat protection. We received two very important notes from our Windows customers. The removal of the green bubble for threat protection made it harder to understand the status of the feature. And the red bubble did not make it clear that there are apps with known vulnerabilities on the device. Reacting to this feedback, we made the following changes to the feature. To avoid confusion, the green bubble is back. It will continue to indicate that threat protection is running. Secondly, we updated the Vulnerability Detection feature card. From now on, if vulnerable apps are found on the device, the word protected in the card will change to indicate how many vulnerable apps are currently present on the device. With these updates, we hope that the status of threat protection and its features will be much clearer, but we are eagerly looking forward to your feedback about these changes. I'll share some fresh updates we've released for the MeshNet feature. Nicknaming your devices is one of them. Our users requested this feature numerous times, so we listened and delivered. Since the launch of MeshNet, all devices have been assigned automatically generated NOR names, and to be fair, some of them were pretty long and became a burden for users with a fair amount of connections. From now on, everyone can easily rename linked devices in your MeshNet to anything they want. Moreover, the custom nicknames you set for your devices will function as custom DNS names, which you can use to access your devices remotely. A significant number of MeshNet users are using MeshNet's file sharing feature for transferring files securely. We decided to simplify this feature and make it more accessible. Now, the file sharing feature has a separate tab, which will speed up the file sharing itself. Also, we had to update the file transfer history view, so instead of navigating through different peers to review sent files, the whole transfer history between all peers within MeshNet is shown in a single tab. It's not a secret that all settings in the browser extension were kept from the login to logout, meaning that after user relogins into extension, all user settings are set to their default values, and that had to be fixed. To preserve user choices, like features turned on or off, for instance, auto-connect or threat protection light, domains added to the split tunneling list, and other settings like language or color schema, we added a possibility to save all those personal preferences in your browser storage. And the good part is that it takes a very tiny amount of memory, so performance doesn't suffer. To clarify things, the user will get an announcement in the extension about this feature. It can be enabled directly from the announcement area by clicking the button or from the settings menu. From the moment the user enables this feature, the extension will save all current settings and update any changes in the back. So every time the user relogs in on the same browser to our extension, the extension will detect the backup with the same user settings and immediately offer to restore them. Just one click and everything is back as it were. User settings saving is available for browser extension versions from 3.9.0 and up for Edge and Chrome browsers. And our dear Firefox users, we love you and you will certainly get this feature in the near future. If you like this video, subscribe to our channel for more NordVPN updates and videos.